Hey there, welcome or welcome back. This is Breathe and Budget. My name is Taryn. We talk about all things finance related on this channel, including how I use the zero base budget method, cash envelopes, as well as fund savings challenges to meet our financial goals. So if any of that is of interest to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, join our community here, and let's get into today's video. So we're gonna go ahead and do our check-in. This is the last check-in for the month of March, the last one of the first quarter of the year before we head into April. So we will be cash stuffing the first check of April. So technically I get it at the end of every month. So I got paid today, today's the 29th because the 30th landed on a weekend, so I got paid today. And you're watching this on Sunday. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. If you celebrate, happy Easter, because this will be the last time you also see Mr. Bunny in the video. But like I was saying, because I have a scroll moment there, today I got paid. Today that I'm recording this on Friday the 29th, I got paid. But that check will be used to complete April's budget. So that's what I do just because it just makes sense. I feel like that's the first check of the month. So that's how I've always done it, and that's how I'm going to continue to do it. So let's get into our final check-in. And again, I'm happy to say I did not spend any of my spending money. So this money, which should be 75, is gonna roll over into my savings challenges. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, yes, 75. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that to the side. My husband, my daughter actually borrowed some, well, not borrowed, like he just said you can have some to get ice cream because we have nothing left in their envelope. They had spent it all, so he let her get ice cream from the ice cream truck. So he only has 62 left. Like, they took a 20 for the ice cream truck. This is the change. Like, prices of things, even... The ice cream truck has been astronomical, but their prices for their items that they sell probably increased as well. I mean, it makes sense, but inflation in itself is just insane. All right, date night. We have 50, 120, 40, 60, 80, $200. I feel like my hands are really cold right now. So it's making counting a little bit difficult. So... Let me use a little bit of this to help me out. Sorry. <laughs> All right, moving right along to dining out. We have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 105, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 112. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and pull 20, 30, and these two fives, um, one, two, three, four, yeah, let me take five ones actually. Okay, so I'm going to put that into my wallet because yesterday when you're watching this, but tomorrow when I'm filming this is yoga and we'll be eating out. Okay, so this is the wallet I've been using. Um, it is from, I want to say it's Safe City Chic. The reason I got it is because I use a belt bag, like a fanny pack. And I mean, I have a lot of purses, but I've been really digging just the belt bag lately. And this fits perfect into it, but allows me to carry cash. So it just, you know... I like it. I think, I mean, these are a little bit thin, so I just am careful when I'm stuffing it because I don't want to, my daughter already kind of like burst the side of one only by putting a $20 bill in. I don't really know how she like sheared it, in, it into there, but um, I love this just because it's convenient to carry the cash and it's slim. It's not bulky like at all. I wish I had, well, like here's the PVC pouches that we're used to. Like you can see in comparison it's smaller. I don't know. I just, I like the size of it and it's been working. Um, so let me go ahead and I'm going to add this in here. So if I did this right, 
I need to put it in. And I know it doesn't matter, but I like to see the money going a certain way. So I just like make sure I put it in the right way. See? Um, so let me put that to the side because I'm going to add the nails actually. So nails should have 260 and by the time you watch this, I will have already gotten my nails done, but in real time, I'm getting them done tomorrow. And I really, 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 really loved these colors. And I got so many compliments that I more than likely am going to stick with these colors, but maybe do it where they're both like kind of like in a V shape of the color with that clear glitter. I don't know, but I really love it. Perfect for spring. So nails, we have 100, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 270, because I keep forgetting I had that 10 rollover. So I might not need all of this, which means I might wind up um, having more rollover, which will be good. So I'm throwing it into wellness, not beauty, because beauty is technically for my toiletries. Wellness, I'm just gonna throw it into there for tomorrow. See, so that'll be ready to go. And I think that's all I need to put in there. So I know people ask, do you carry all the cash with you? No, I don't. Like I might put a little bit of my spending money once I cash stuff, but I don't. And oh, I might I might add $20 for pets because I need to get um, Hunter some of his food. He's our bearded dragon. So, I mean, I might add a little bit, but I don't carry all of it. I do keep it at home in our safe. And this basically, this binder, the essentials binder, is a replica of whatever I would carry on my person. Um, so even when I order things that are not necessarily from like my shop, I try to match the categories. Okay, kids is gone. Toiletries. Let's see. I don't think I'm grabbing all of it. Maybe I am, yeah. 100, 220, 30, 40, 55. So 255. That's good. And then household. We have 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 526, 127. We definitely used household. Um, there were several things that we had to purchase. And then again, when toilet paper is on sale at Sam's Club, I always get more than one. That will always ring true. And then miscellaneous I did use, and I'm happy that I have started to remember to cash stuff for it because it actually does come in handy. No matter how much you prepare, no matter how many categories you have, how many binders, there's always something you didn't think about or something that comes up that you wouldn't have thought would come up. So I'm actually gonna be adding a gifts envelope. I figured I could put $5 a month to that and that would just go towards like random gifts for people that happen to come up that's like outside of our immediate family. It, it happens, you know, not often, but it happens. So I'm going to be adding that eventually. So that is it for the check-in. Now we're going to count our cash and then we'll come back into this binder to cash stuff the first paycheck of April. Okay. Oh man, I accidentally folded the ones back there. Ugh. I try not to do that when I put it in, um, but I like taking my own pouch to the bank. I don't want to like waste envelopes that they offer you every single time. So today, if I'm correct, we are cash stuffing $1,244. So let's just go ahead and get this counted. Let's use a calculator. 100, 200 move this a little bit closer for now 50 100 and then uh 20 10 5 nope let me move this back okay 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 82 20 40 60 83 20 40 60 84 20 40 60 85 20, 40, 60, 86, 600. Okay. Some pretty poor bills this time. Uh, I didn't bother to ask this particular teller to give me uh, nicer bills because she likes to just have the machine generate. Like she puts in what the person's asking for and then the machine spits out the money. 
All right, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, and 30. Some of those tens were looking rough. All right, let's go ahead and 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14. My hands are really cold. It's still very chilly. Um, so it just makes it hard to do things. <laughs> Okay, so 1244, perfect. I am using the Budget by Paycheck Workbook by The Budget Mom. So this is what will be cash stuffing. I used this little breakdown here before I transferred it to my teller slip. So this is what I'll be looking at to the side. So let's get into it. I'm gonna be in, like I have to go into my high priority binder just because we always cash stuff for our trash and our water. And I'm going to be doing my pets binder, but it's really going to be about the essentials binder. That's what I try to do with the first check of every month is get money into our essential categories. So that includes our personal spending and other categories. So for me, I did three tens. I did... Oh my. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is there any other decent one? Eight. Okay, and then I did five ones, which the ones were just really poor. Three, four, five. Okay. So let's just make sure this is 75. All right, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, five. Perfect. All right, so again, I'm gonna do my best to try not to spend this, stay within the confines of the budget I have created for this week because I do, we do need to save. We have a lot of expenses coming up this year. I thought this was gonna be our year of like saving money for our emergency fund, but then life happened and it dawned on us like the air conditioning is gonna probably need to be replaced. Um, we'll have someone come out in April to help us figure that out. You know, the kids are gonna need a car. They're gonna need car insurance. I don't know why I didn't, I don't know. That stuff just didn't dawn on me. So this is our year of like hustling to save to basically spend it, <laughs> to give it away. All right, so he's gonna just get five twenties and he does not care what his money looks like. Two, three, four, five, And he's just, he's he's awesome because he just knows that I prefer the crisper bills. So when he gets change and the change is nice, he'll ask me if I need to trade any um, of like my poor bills for the good bills, which I really, really appreciate. And all money is good, don't get me wrong, but um, like sometimes they're really tattered and that just makes it difficult to put in the envelopes and I don't, I don't know. I just want them to be nice and clean bills. So now he has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 62. So 162. So I hope that you guys are having a fabulous Easter and that your spring is wherever you are. Hopefully you're warming up. We're not warming up. In fact, I just saw a news article come out today that said we're in for a huge storm in our like area. Um, so I think we're gonna have a lot of wind and we get a lot of wind where I'm, where I'm at, like in the desert area and a lot of rain. 
Luckily, where we live, our street like runs down so it passes our house like water doesn't settle at our house which we're very fortunate for i don't know why i took the money out for date night we have 200 i am not cash stuffing date night for the month of april so that's not happening dining out so i decided i'm gonna just go ahead and put the full 300 normally what i do is i'll put like anywhere from 75 to 100 dollars a week depending on what my budget was for that month I'm just pulling it all, putting it in here. And I'm going to be taking this money with me, whether it's in a different wallet and I take the envelope or I take the cash, whatever. And I'm going to try to use only cash instead of, like I know I like to earn the points on my credit card, but with this particular category, I don't stay within my budget. So if I force myself to just use the cash, do not allow myself to charge it on a card, it might help. So it's something I'm trying. That's actually one of the reasons why people do the whole cash system because this is your budget. Once it's gone, it is gone. But I've gotten so used to like, well, I can charge it and I can use my checking account cushion. So I've gotten bad when it comes to this. So I'm going to try to rein that in this month. We'll see how that goes. So dining out. We did two fives. I'm hoping this all fits in my envelope. I didn't think of that. For tens, I did six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then for twenties, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I believe I did a 50. Because if we do go out to like a restaurant, then it'll be more than $50 and I have no problem like paying with that 50. Restaurants will take a 50. It's like smaller places that might not be able to break a 50, but restaurants will. So this should be 300. All right, here we go with the 50s. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 300. Perfect. So let's go ahead. Uh, okay. I don't recommend ever putting this much money into an envelope. I'm going to tell you that right now. I have it as a disclaimer. I even have it on my new thank you cards. Um, this is my new thank you card. It's not finalized to where I'm having anyone else print it. I still print my own stuff at home. Until I absolutely love it, I won't have it professionally printed. But I put like little care instructions on the back, like what not to do or what to do. Um and things like that. So I also say to limit to 10 to 15 bills per envelope. And if you're working with the A7 size, I recommend a quarter fold, not a half fold. So this I do not recommend, um, but matte envelopes do hold up better than the glossy laminate. I'm not gonna lie. I love my Starlight, but matte does hold up a lot better. But this won't be in here too long. So I'm not, I'm not too worried, but again, if you're purchasing from my shop, I don't recommend this, okay? Um, I also try to tell people when you're doing your categories, like, I don't know, I feel like, I know people love the A7 size, but that is not, that is not a size where you should be having like your vehicle emergency fund. But I see it happen. I, I just feel like that, that, that could be like bad news. So I know I pulled everything from nails, but I'm actually going to go ahead and add 130 right now for the next time. I'm just trying to get prepared. And because I worked the election, like you guys, if you've been following me, you know that I helped at the voting polls. I was a, a lead. So I put in for overtime for like pay and what we call comp time, meaning I get time on the books that I can use to take off work. So this check included that. So I have a little bit more money to work with. So I'm going to just go ahead and get prepared. Kids, I normally do 100. I'm actually going to do 130. And so I did 100. Did I really do that? No. 
I did not do a hundred dollar bill. What am I thinking? I'm looking at the wrong row, guys. Okay, so I did three twenties. Yeah, I would never do a hundred in that. And then I did five tens. And then I did. Uh, if you hear the noise in the background, my husband took the kids to the local store down below or in out here and we have like a little store out here and they just walked in and my daughter likes to be loud when she walks in so this should be one 120 not 130 yeah i was looking at nails okay this should be 120 let's just see if i did this right 20 40 60 70 80 90 110 120 okay i was looking at the wrong row i probably should put on my glasses <laughs> <laughs> clearly I need to be wearing them right now so here's what I did for toiletries and household so I tried to make it where it would be 300 each but I think I had to pull from one of these I think it was home so it might be a few dollars short so this is toiletries so in toiletries I'm adding 45 so I just did two 20s and a five so if I'm not mistaken and if I you know did the math correctly this should be the 300 so 100 200 20 40 60 70 80 90 yep 300 so this is what i consider fully funded for toiletries okay fully funded if i don't spend from it in the month of april and i start the month of may with 300 i will not be adding to this envelope in may I will only then start to add to this envelope as I use it. So let's say we need to purchase a few things and that costs us $40. Then the next month I will probably start to replenish it again until it comes right back up to 300. But as of right now, this is considered fully funded. Household, this is the one that we definitely spend for from more often than like toiletries per se. So this one, I decided we were gonna go ahead and put 170 so this is where i did the 150 because i don't want too many bills in there and then i did a 10 and two fives so that should be 170 150 60 yes 170 so let's just make sure that this is the correct amount so I don't think it's going to be the full 300 but I think we'll be close so let's see 100 200 20 40 60 70 80 95 96 97 all right so just a few dollars short no big deal um I could probably add that with like when I'm doing like my savings challenge, if I have some ones left over, I could just hopefully, if I remember, to throw them in here. And then miscellaneous is going to get 30. So let's deal two tens and two fives. Yeah, some of these bills are pretty raunchy. I don't know what people do with their money. But like, look at that. I don't know. It's been around the block. <laughs> Sorry. All right, let's get that in there if I can. See, it just makes it harder to get it in there too when it's um like ratty like that. Is that even a word? Tattered, tattered, tattered's better. I don't know. I don't even know if that's a word. Okay, so let me just make sure. Yes, that is it in here. All right, high priority. I only have two categories. Both of those are gonna be in my home section. Whoops. Okay. So we're going to go back here to trash and water. Funny story. Funny, not so funny. Um, I'm going to keep another 20 out really quick for water. But I have done this with both my water and my trash. Last, last time it was water and this time it was with trash. So I track my spending. So I use the budget by page the budget by paycheck workbook, say that five times fast, 
to track my spending. And I noticed that my buffer, like the checking account cushion that I keep in there, was dipping lower than it should have. So I got a little nervous. So I started to really look at all the transactions. And then I realized I paid trash twice. So the $156 bill was due in the beginning of March. I forgot that I had set it to auto pay. I guess, I think, I don't even remember doing it, but like, but then I went in and paid it. So I paid 156 twice. But y'all know from my last video, I actually had already enough in here to cover the June bill. So there's a credit on the account of $156, which I'll, I have a picture of and I'll put it up on the screen. Meaning when the June bill comes out, it's already covered. So what I did is I took the 156 that I had in here ready to go and I put it back into my checking account cushion. So I have only $10 left. I'm going to add this 20, giving me 30. But guess what? This is going towards my August. Hold on, March, April, May, June, July, August, my September bill, my September bill. So just by putting a little bit away each paycheck, for trash, which is a quarterly bill, water, which is every other month, I have, I have gotten essentially like, especially because I like to pay it twice, like two times, I can't say two months ahead because it's like not billed monthly, but do you know what I mean? Like I'm ahead. That is amazing. And that's all you have to do. A lot of people are like, I can't even manage to pay my bills or I can't put food on the table. And I sympathize 100%. But there has got to come a point where you then look at your situation and say, accountability. Okay, accountability. Are you spending money on things you don't need to be spending money on if you're struggling that bad? More than likely you are. I know I did. Guilty. Guilty as charged. And are there things that you can like cut out that aren't a necessity? Do you need to go to a bare bones budget? Perhaps you do, right? Changing your spend spending habits can only begin when you become aware of your spending habits. So that's that acknowledgement, that awareness. You know, then it really goes into like looking at what all your bills are. Call the companies, ask, are they running a promotion? Is there any way that the bill can be lowered? Believe me, they can do it. So it just, it really, and then if your job is not cutting it, you might need to change the jobs. Or you might need to bring in another source of income. And it doesn't mean necessarily working 100 hours a week. You can bring income in other ways, whether it's, you know, um, I mean, there's so many like online or at home, like data entry, or um, I know there's like jobs where like you can create the de like the listing details for items that are sold on Amazon. I can't remember what that's called. It's something I wanted to get into because I'm generally really good at writing. So there are things that you can do that are, is convenient that you can do from home that isn't going to take a million hours just to bring in extra income. Or you can sell things on Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, Poshmark, or what other platforms are out there. I don't know. I'm not on all of them. I'm sure that there are more. But you've just got to think outside the box. And at this point, with the way that the economy is and the way that inflation is, we have no choice. It's time to have grit and it's time to hustle and grind. I And I don't, I don't mean that to be harsh, but it's almost like tough love because I've gotten so many negative comments lately on my cash counting videos, although they're generating me a lot of views and a lot of like likes. And I mean, I welcome that, but people, some people are um, a little negative about it, but I think it's because they're going through a hard time themselves that they can't understand. But I told them, just take a second to look at my page watch my YouTube channel, reach out if you have questions. So I just think that we're all going through a hard time right now. And we're, I know that I personally, we are blessed. We are both working. Um, money is not tight, but that does not mean that we aren't without struggle. Like literally we have a $20,000 bill about to hit us for the air conditioner. And then the car, then the insurance for, you know, a teenager. I don't even know. I mean, that they might be asking me for my like left hand and my right foot. I don't know. It's going to be crazy. Water. Let me get off my, you know, high horse here and get back to counting. Water has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 55. So this is more than enough for the next bill and already a little bit for the, um, the one after that. So that makes me super happy. So I think that's it. Yes, so now we're gonna hop into the Pets Binder. All right, so this is my Pets Binder. And this is a category that I decided could no longer be just one envelope that said pets. 
I had to start to really figure out what I would need for each animal because we have a like zoo um what we would need for each animal in the different categories so let's see so for atlas we did just have to purchase another bag of dog food so that leaves us with i want to say only like 20 or third no not even 13 dollars. so i would need I'm going to add 35 because that'll set us up for the next bag. So we'll be essentially like one bag ahead, like one month ahead, but one bag ahead. So I'm going to go ahead and do, um, I hope I'm doing these denominations correctly. So 20, 35. Okay. So now for Atlas, and this is just strictly for food. We'll have 20, 30, 45, 46, 47, 48, 48. Okay, so he's good for his next bag. Then we have Phoenix and Raja who eat just typical cat food. Um, actually, let me do Coco first because I know specifically how much she's getting. We need 46, I figured let's just get her there. We need $46 more to be able to purchase the next bag of prescri prescription cat food that'll be delivered by Chewy, which is about $105. So it went up a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and add 46. So we'll do two 20s, we'll do a five, and we'll do a one. So hopefully I did the math right when I was figuring out how much we needed to put in here. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 105, 106. Perfect. Because it's like 105 and some cents. So Coco's taken care of. And then I know for sure that I'm going to be putting 40 into Jurassic Park. So I hope that I'm doing the denominations right. And I'm not butchering another envelope. Hold on. All right, we'll see. Okay, so, well, what, what do we have in here now? So 60, 20, 40, 60, 75. Okay, let me pull a 20 because we are going to have to get Hunter some food. So I'm going to put that to the side for my wallet. Okay. And everyone else, like, is stocked up. We're really, like, especially for the um, fish, the koi fish and the goldfish, I purchased, like, a $200 bag off Amazon. I don't even know how many pounds that's going to last us forever. Um, and then I just make sure that I set an alarm, like, on our Alexa to let us know, like, hey, check the level of Krunk's food or Hunter's food because I don't ever want to, like, realize we don't have any. And then, hold on. Let's not do that yet. Let's see. How much I have left? I want to say it's 79. So we're budgeting 200. I did 46 for Coco, 35 for Atlas, and I did 40 for Jurassic Park. So yeah, $79 left. And I think I was just going to, I should have pulled the denominations. Like I should have done this differently and I'll know that for the next time. All right. So for them, what do they have? 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so I know I definitely have two more 20s that so have to go to this envelope. And then for the 10s, okay, so if I'm right, this right here should be the 79. Let's see. 40, 50, 60, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. Yep, 79. <laughs> okay, so here is what I have left to work with. I did not, like, for the rest of this, I didn't know what I was going to be doing. So they have 15, 16, 17, 18. I'm going to do 11. So 25, 26, 27, 28, $29. That's more than enough for their next bag. Um, so that's just setting them up. Okay, Coco's done. Jurassic Park is done. Then flea prevention, vet appointments, and pet licenses. 
license i'm we just paid for atlas raja might be coming up i think i'm just going to give that a five okay fine i'll give it eight all right that's fine so now we have 18 and pet license this is only once a year and it's so minimal like the dog is like 20 cats are like 10 um bleed prevention i think we may actually have a good amount 20 40 50 61 i don't even know how we have that much when i just purchased it i'm pretty sure i pulled the cash for it because that's an online purchase through sam's club so I'm not going to touch flea prevention. I'm going to put the rest into vet appointments. So 20, 40, 50, 60 is going to go into vet appointments. So this is different than the pet emergency fund that I have for them. This is literally for like if I need to take them in for any dental work or, you know, vaccinations or I don't know, anything like that. That's what this will be. Um, the pet emergency that I have, the 3K, that's for like bigger emergencies so now we have 20 40 60 80 90 100 and 20 so this should cover because you know when you go see the vet there's like a fee just to see them kind of like a copay I guess you know and then whatever the service is so I'm going to try to build that up a little bit and then let me see what I have left this $20 this is for my bookmark challenge 10 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so what I have left is going to be used in the next video, my savings challenge video, because it's going to my 52 week savings challenge and my bookmark savings challenge. So that actually worked out perfect. I mean, it was probably painful for you guys to watch, um, but it worked out. So this is the bookmark challenge. I just, I'm going to quickly get myself set up for April. Oh, I found $2 for my husband's catch all. Um, so that is going to go with that pile for savings challenges. So we're done with March. So I'll pull that out and set myself up for April. So for the bookmark challenge for April, I have to save 60. So I'm gonna save 20 in this first week and then probably 30 and then five and five. And then, I don't know, we'll see what the bonus is. Maybe I'll scratch that in the um, savings challenge video. So I had an order come in like customized that I wanted to share with you guys because I thought it was very like, I don't know, very interesting. So the these envelopes, the transparent ones, have come to the shop by way of the Starlight Dollar Savings Challenge that you see me use, the My White Binder. But this person asked if she could use those envelopes to make cash envelopes. Like, you know, people like the zipper top, but she wanted the Starlight. So what I came up with was like kind of just a dashboard, I guess. So it's not an envelope. This is not a built-in envelope. It's literally just a dashboard. But she said for these types, she had the home maintenance and the vehicle maintenance, she would be cash stuffing a lot of money. And so she felt like using the ones that are handmade would not be feasible because it would probably burst at the seams. And I don't disagree. I think this is very smart to use these types of envelopes if you're going to be cash stuffing a lot. Or you need to be doing condensings and submit, you know, putting that money submitting submitting that money to the bank so that it can earn interest and using placeholders but she wants to hold enough cash to where she doesn't have to worry about the sides so I'm thinking that this needs to be an option in the shop what do you guys think so she chose a couple different fonts um this is font number three and then this is font number four which four and five are my favorite three is like my second running and then I made this one just to show the other font that we have. This is font one. And then font two is the same, but lowercase. I don't know. What do you guys think? It would just be a dashboard, but it's starlight. And only on one side. I can't, I'm not starlighting both. It would just, the integrity wouldn't be good. But it would be in, you know, if I can get my hand my hands on enough of these, like it could be, I don't know, something that you guys could order. Although I'll be honest, it's going to have to be in like two pack, four pack. Like it has to, I have to make sure I have enough on hand to be able to offer it, if that makes sense. Um, And if I don't have enough, like, and you need eight, but I only have six, like, like I'm so sorry. <laughs> like that would be the only issue. 
And then this is my current freebie in my shop in my abundance era savings challenge. So it doesn't come laminated. It's, you know, just something that you could have fun coloring in, but a savings challenge that comes with all the orders. So thank you guys for hanging out. I mean, that's it. That's all I have for this week. Uh, and we will get into our savings challenge video next and I'm working on the series. I've already posted the video of my binder flip through tour. So check that out. In fact, I could probably put that up for you to look at. It kind of goes over my categories, how I got there, why I decided on them. And then I will be talking about like the zero base budget and why cash envelopes work and all the things. So if you haven't already subscribed, I encourage you to join us here. And thank you so much. Say hi in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.